Yeah, obviously there's a lot of uh, mixed um, mixed thoughts, opinions about uh, what happened and the narrative surrounding yeah. it. Um, yeah, even being there and a part of it and everything, it was uh, it was conflicted. Um, you know, it, uh, there was there's some things I saw that I really didn't like. Um, but, uh, same time, I mean, let's be real, what, uh, what transpired today is a hell of a lot different than a, um, a BLM, uh, Antifa riot, even though, you know, yeah. the, uh, the mayor of DC said that what happened today at the Capitol building is what white supremacy looks like, um, on a lot of my videos and I got pictures that, uh, there's a lot of, uh, different races that, uh, took part in that today, and, uh, yeah, you got you got C- CNN and uh, and others are saying that uh that we look like thugs and a mob out there. Um, yeah, you, you never see them call BLM and Tifa thugs or mobs when they burn down and loot buildings and cities and whatnot. There's a big difference. So you know, I, I felt I felt bad for the cops in a, in a way because the cops were just doing their job. Uh, they were, you know. I mean, obviously, people were trying to breach, trespass a, bu- a building. Uh, they damaged government property. You know, their job. You know, they they, they were doing their jobs. Um, at the same time, you know, it's our constitutional duty to overthrow a tyrannical government. So who was in the wrong? You know, and then you know, I, no, I I didn't like uh, the fact that you know a couple windows got broken. But uh, again, you know. This was windows were broken in an attempt to breach a government building to overthrow a tyrannical government versus, you know, busting out the windows of mom and pop shops, small businessing businesses and, you know, even big box stores, whatever, just to loot and loot and riot and burn shit to the ground um, for nothing. You know, there is a big difference. You know, when uh, tyranny becomes law, rebellion becomes duty. You know, give me liberty or give me death. I mean, we're watching our country be taken from us. We're watching, you know, we're watching our government literally being dictated to us by, you know, uh, uh, a communist socialist party who is run by China and Iran. So, you know, yeah, I mean... Not everything's gonna be pretty. Now, like like I said, everybody today, it uh, you know, imagine if in seventeen seventy six, patriots stood there, holding um, holding signs and waving flags and had their stupid chant, "Stop the steal," this and that. Right? Well, we wouldn't we wouldn't be America if they did that. Right? It took uh, took it took a rebellion. You know, it took uh, patriots to to do things they otherwise wouldn't have. So that's what happened uh, today, kind of in a nutshell. I'm sorry I didn't get to get more of it. Uh, it was a nightmare trying to go live um, to get internet, period. I mean, everybody was struggling. Uh, there was well over a million people here. and I mean, The bandwidth was just completely tied up. So I did what I could um, it, as far as that went. Uh, you guys got to see some pretty cool shit. I mean, there was nobody else that was near me that I was able to go live and get uh, the shots that I did. So... There's that. But uh, anyways, I saw on a couple of the lives that I was able to do, people were trying to tap in. I want to give you guys an opportunity to tap in if you want. Um, ask any questions, uh, shit out any comments. Let me know what you think. Kind of reading um, through some comments here. Desiree says exactly. So what's up? Um, join, join, join. Join, uh... The Patriot Code was from San Diego. That's what, that's what Bama told me. 14-year veteran uh, from San Diego. Uh, imagine, you know, uh, you've never once seen uh, them uh, use live ammunition on BLM Antifa. I mean, you could just imagine the headline if, uh, you know, if they had killed, you know, not one but two uh, BLM uh, females, you know, in, in, in their riots and, and whatever. Glad you're safe. Well, I'm, I'm glad I'm safe too. But I was never worried about me. Um, KUSL. So yeah, our uh, our buddy uh, Andrew Dyer tried texting me, um, asking me questions about it. Uh, KPBS uh, 
was trying to get an interview. At, at first, I told him, uh, you know, kick rocks. Then I told him I'd do a, I'd give him an interview as so long as it was live, so they couldn't chop it up again like they did uh, last time. After I talked to him, when I uh, after I interviewed um, uh, Amar and uh, Congressman Isa. Uh, let's see. I think I got through all the uh, comments here, Jen. I don't know what uh, identity of woman. Oh, shot and killed. Okay. Yeah. yeah let's see. Uh, oh, I don't know what I did there. Alright, so, thoughts on the woman that was killed. Uh, that's tragic. It, it's absolutely horrible. I mean, our government uh, opened fire uh, using live ammunition on, you know, on unarmed uh, patriots. But again, you know, the, the, their job... You know, they're in the Capitol building. I'm sure that was Capitol Police who did it. Their job is to protect the safety and the well-being of Congress. So, uh, and, you know, the, the building had been breached. Um, and I, <laughs> it's one of those situations, like I said. I mean, who's wrong? I mean, you know, the, the, the police were being called traitors and every other name in the book. Um, because, you know, you know, obviously we wanted the police to, you know, stand down as, you know, they do. Like, it sucks. I, 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 there's at least two cops at every single intersection, um, within like, uh, a a two mile radius of, of the Capitol building right now, give or take, right? I don't, I don't have the exact number there, but I mean, it's just a ton of cops. Um, I stopped one of the intersections and I asked a couple of the cops, you know, their thoughts on it. I told them, I was like, yeah, you know, I, I see... You know, from your guys' perspective, you're doing your job, you know, I mean, people are, you know, trespassing, vandalizing, you got to do your job. On the other side, the Constitution says, you know, that we are to overthrow a tyrannical government, you know, what, what do you think about that? And they literally say, you know, if I don't, you know, I don't care about, you know, any of that, you know, I, I just care about my job. And that's really the problem. Those, that, that, that response right there, like, at that moment, I lost all respect for that officer because, you know, you were, you know, as an officer, you are, you know, you swear to uphold the law and the Constitution, you know, so, you know, n- not just, you know, orders, you know, you don't just, you know, um, some, you know, some, you know, uh, one of the uh, police sergeants out here, uh, you know, last time Patriots came out, uh, told uh, Mick that um, the Proud Boys need to get a, uh, get you get a really good attorney because their chief of police, who's a, a liberal, and their mayor, uh, liberal, you know, the, the liberal mayor here, uh, told told the police, uh, the, the Metropolitan Police, that they are to stand down against Antifa and to literally, quotes, harass Proud Boys. So, and that, that's, you know, officers who care more about their badge and the uh and their paycheck than they do the constitution and the law and protecting the citizens you know as they've sworn to do i have no respect for you know um support for anything or anyone should not be blind and it should not be unconstitutional i've said that from the start so there's my thoughts on that feel free to tap in if you have anything you want to add or anything that rossi i'm honestly torn two directions um, I'm heartbroken that a patriot was killed, but I get that's their job, and that's exactly it. And you gotta think from uh, from our perspective there, you know, it was this is our chance. You know, was, we had started this. If we if we stop now, it's over. You know, this is you know we <laughs> yeah we, we got a shot here. If we if we turn around, I mean, it literally just so I just so everybody knows, you know, what, what really started this whole this whole breach. And whatnot is it? You know they'll never admit it. But, I mean, I was right there, you know, with the tear gas in my mouth and in my eyes. You know, it was literally, you know, so I wasn't there at the beginning. I know that there was some exchanges that happened, and something. I guess the barricades had come down before, but you know, we were we were all holding a line, you know, back from um from the building. Um, it was past, I guess, where the barricades originally were, but there was still a line that was being held back from the building that was not being crossed. And uh, unprovoked, the police started shooting tear gas at us. And rather than disperse, you know, rather than run away from the tear gas, everybody ran forward. That's what started all of this today. That's never going to be admitted, but I, mean, I, I was right there. 
And I'm not, you know, like, like I said, I mean, I know the cops are doing their job as far as, you know, they're, they're police officers and, you know, their, their job is crowd control, keep people from trespassing, vandalizing a building, keep Congress safe, blah, 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 blah. You know, whoop, whoop, I get it. But, um, it, at the same time, their job is also, you know, it's the job of Congress and uh, the Justice Department and the FBI and, uh, you know, to uh, investigate um, and protect, uh, you know, election integrity. And we're literally watching the presidency in this country being stolen. We watched it literally happen again last night in Georgia. I mean, at, at what point do you, you know, you stop waving your dumbass flags and yelling your stupid chants and, you know, start taking your, your country back, just like, you know, the Patriots of 1776 did. So many Patriots have, you know, given their lives for the very freedoms that we're just watching being taken away, just watching, you know, we're, we're, freedoms are being stripped, our democracy is being stolen, and Patriots are standing up. Oh. See, nobody's tried to tap in yet. Um... More people are, uh, was Antifa mixed in breaking windows? No. Um, uh, I was told there's, uh, somebody that, like, initially got into the building that was wearing, like, a wolf costume, same tattoos, everything, that was involved in a, uh, in a BLM march, um, uh, from Arizona, but from what I saw, the guy, the, the people that were breaking the windows were absolutely not Antifa. Um, they got beat up. Um, but others went and, and did it, but... You know, it was, it, it was, a, it was a mix. I mean, like, you know, we, we weren't trying to break the windows to... By we, I mean that, you know, Patriots and Trump supporters. I, haven't, I obviously didn't touch a window. But um, those that were trying to break the windows were trying to breach the building to overthrow a tyrannical government. They were not trying to vandalize the building. Um, I did hear that, you know, that there was some some vandalism that went on the people who did get inside the building I heard that they uh, did some vandalism and I mean, that's just complete trash and you know we were very adamant there you know even when they started breaking the windows like, like I was stoked thinking that we were going to be able to get into the building without uh, w- without breaking anything without damaging anything you know um, that, that, that didn't happen but no I I did not see any Antifa or any BOM and you guys saw my life. I mean, it's not like there was any, you know, like there was many people closer than me. Um, I get the feeling there was uh, agitators thrown in the mix to uh, make Trump supporters uh, look worse. So, and that's something that, you know, we can't prove. There were some people that were, I mean, there were some people that were just straight idiots. I mean, just straight up. Like, oh my God. I mean, there was just some dumbasses. There, there, there were there were some people who, you know, definitely, I don't know if they were trying to agitate the situation or trying to take uh, advantage of the situation. I mean, there was like at points where, like, you know, the cop shields were being taken and then people were holding them above their head. And then other people would climb up on top of those shields, you know, like uh, as like a platform and then like start swinging from the... Uh, um, uh, from the ledge and, you know, like on, like on monkey bars and swinging their feet, you know, kicking them at cops. And I mean, it, it was nuts, but I mean, you know, a lot of the shields that got pulled and taken away from cops ended up getting handed right back. At one point, a, a sledgehammer got taken from them and it got handed right back. I mean, you know, but I mean, shit, I, I also, you know, I saw a cop, uh, get, you know, picked up and carried out. And I mean, the, the look of terror on his face was, it was gut wrenching. What's up, Scott? Yeah, take Glad to see you're in one piece, man. Of course I'm in one piece. Uh, can you imagine the outrage if a BLM person was shot? Exactly. You want us to carry back your body armor? Hi, John. your luggage? That's the difference between us and them. We have to stand up for what is right. Absolutely. Preach. Uh, oh, nobody's tapping in. I think I've answered all questions. Like I said, I've been trying to cut my videos down. Um, uh, I haven't eaten all day, so I'm going to try to get some food. People just got here. So, all right.
Talk to you guys later. Thanks for uh, being on. Sorry.